Hey everyone, so April favorites. And I know like 50,785 million gurus are probably gonna say this. I can't believe it's May. But I'm saying this because my son turns one. Yeah, so the day this video goes up, in nine days my son turns one. I am not ready for that. <laughs> like it felt like it took forever to, for Emery to turn one and this year just flew by with Colin. And I just, I don't know why it did and I just, I can't believe it. So, April favorites. Yikes. So that means next month I turn the big 2-8. I'm this much closer to 30 people. Time to party. <laughs> um, so yeah, I am going to share my April favorites and I do have fails. Um, which always sucks, but at least you guys know what hit and misses are and it's not just all butterflies and rainbows. So yeah, let's get on into it. Um, I'm just going to start with beauty first. Um, this is my favorite brush. I only have MAC brushes right now. I do have a few brushes from the makeup school I went to, but those are horrible quality. They're just used for us to learn how to do different skills and everything, and it's a, yeah, MAC. <laughs> um, so I have a MAC 239, and this is my favorite eyeshadow brush of all time. And the reason for that is just the multi-useful brush, like if you are starting off on makeup and you're starting your brush collection, you're telling your parents, your boyfriend, your husband, your friends what to get you, ask for the MAC 239 brush. Um, I'm saying that because you're able to use it three ways. So you're able to use this part, turn it around, it's the exact same thing on this side, and then use it going this way, which I love because you could pack color on one side and then use a whole different color, turn it around, and use it on that side and then you could take a color and smudge it underneath your eyes. Three different shadows on one brush. Beautiful. So that's why I love this one. I actually have two MAC uh, 239 just because of that reason. So great. Uh, my next, which I never thought it was going to be a favorite, I was just like, okay, it's a really nice purchase. I like it. Cool. I have not touched my MAC Neutral palette since I bought the Naked palette. And that was like, what, February or March, friends? Um, that has never happened to me before. I am a solid lover of MAC shadows, as you guys know. And, yeah, this is just gorgeous. I am, like, three years late, probably, in getting this. But it is a gorgeous palette. Um, you guys have seen this a million times. Um, the main colors I use are Virgin, Sin, B Naked, um, and Buck. I used this today for the first time, not on the look that I used. Um, I haven't really dipped into Hustle, Creep, or Gunmetal yet, the back three over here. Um, and, the, and I love this one so much, I was like, maybe I should consider getting the Naked 2 palette. But I haven't used all the colors consistently yet, so until I do that, I'm not going to get another palette where I might use this half and not this half. doesn't really make sense in my mind, so once I start using this hardcore, I might go ahead and get the Naked 2 palette. Um, next, nail polish. You guys know I'm a sucker. I I need a third rack. How awesome is that? Um, so I'm going to show my, my three favorite. I just got this one. I just did a haul of this one. And I know I probably shouldn't count it, but it's amazing. It's I'm going to be able to pair with so many different things. And this is Celeb City. It's a Sally Hansen Hard as Nails. And it is gorgeous. It's basically tin foil on your nails. Um, I already did a... Oh, <laughs> That was the first. I already did um, a nails of the week. I'll have that video for you guys below. Just, oh, really? Really? It's so great. <laughs> oh, I love that. Um, then the next ones, hopefully they're still out. I meant to put this in my last favorites, but I forgot. Um, sinful. Yes, I know I'm a sinfulaholic. These are Lux effects. Yeah. So you get Lux Effects for $1.99, which is good quality nail polishes. I love these. These are my favorite nail polish on my whole collection. Instead of paying, what is, what is my Target charge? $7.49. My Walmart charge is $7.45. Well, who else does these? I don't even know. Everybody does these now. But I have Pearl Harbor, which is a gorgeous blue iridescence to it. And then Opal Glittle. Glittle. Glitter. It's just so pretty, and I believe these are just a Rite Aid exclusive. I didn't see them at my Walgreens. We don't have a CVS, um, so if you have a uh, Rite Aid next to you, check them out. I got them back in uh, February or March, 
and never showed you because these are the only two things I picked up that month. So if you could see these, go ahead and get them. They're so great. Um, the next would have to be my VR Wing Princess. I don't know if I showcased this in a favorites video yet. I know I did. I know I did showcase it in my top 10 scents. Um, it's just a gorgeous scent. Very girly, daytime perfume. So great. Um, yeah, I have, I've used this like every single day, I think. It's just awesome. I contemplated not sharing this, but I just, I need your help just because I'm a first time buyer and, <laughs> oy vey, it's my new bra. Um, I got this actually in March and I've been obsessed with this. My first Victoria's Secrets bra ever. I never really cared about bras. I, I used to use, well, I cared about them, I wore them. Um, but I used to use the Victoria, no, not Victoria's Secrets, the Target one, and it began with a V, and it came in, like, all different colors and everything, and then, um, while I was pregnant, I actually broke them because my, um, chest grew so much so fast. Because it had, like, the clasp in front, I would take a deep breath, but, and, like, literally, like, would pop off. So funny. So I ended up just getting, like, regular, like, eh, whatever, like, huge Gigunda Bazunga bras, because my, I was a double D, people. I was, what's, what's this one? Okay, I was a 38 double D. Oh my damn. <laughs> so, we we let the we let the girl simmer down. I haven't been pregnant for almost a year, so I'm doing good. So, I finally allowed myself to get an expensive bra um just because the girls need a little bit more help now that I have two kids. I mean, they're not dragging on the floor, but I mean, they do need a little help. Um, so this is my first Victoria's Secret bra, first one I ever tried on, this is the Demi, so I just need a little bit of help on what other ones are good, um, just because I want different styles, um, I don't really care for them to be, like, really up, I just want them to be held, um, nicely, so if you guys can recommend what bras are really good at Victoria's Secrets, please let me know. So yeah, this is a favorite, I love it, this is the Demi, I love the color, I just love everything about it, so cute, so... Yeah, please <laughs> leave in the comments which ones that you guys like if you're a shopper there because I need your help because I want to get a tan and a black, you know, like normal colors, not just hot pink. Um, so yeah, please leave them in the comments and help me out. That would be so great. Okay, so for the fails of the month, womp womp, these are the Garnier Refreshing Remover Cleansing Towelettes. Um, I got these after the Up and Up ones. Uh, were just They were just horrible. So, I got these before I even finished the Up and Up ones, which are just my swatch removers now. I am not a fan of these at all. They're, they have hardly any moisture to them. And as you guys can see, this little guy never stayed closed. If I smash it, it might... Oh, see, if I smash it, it'll stay closed. But I had... No, it's lifting up already. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I actually put it upside down. That way, it would help keep it closed, and the moisture would go to the top towelettes for me. And everything just spilled out. Like, there was a little pile of water on my desk. And I was like, oh, that's promising. And all my towelettes were super dry after that. So, I will not be repurchasing this again. It smells great. It smells like Garnier, but it's just not for me. What I did pick up today, actually, when I went to go get uh, baby wipes and food for Emery, were the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts that one of y'all had requested, not requested, one of y'all had suggested um, for me to try out next, so it says it even removes waterproof mascara. So now this is what I'm trying. Um, it was four dollars and fifty cents at my Walmart. Comes with twenty five towelettes, so we shall see how these start working for me. The next one, okay, this looks really random. Um, it's that stamp thing where you add you add the plate and then you put nail polish over it and then you use a little round rubber stamper and you stamp it on your nails. Um, as you can tell, I don't have a little round stamper because today Colin was having a moment. I was trying to get ready to go on a play date. So I was like, oh, this sucks. Just play with this. And I handed it to him and he was like playing with it and he liked it. Um, I honestly tried about 10 different times to use this dang thing and it is just, mm, it is not good. <laughs> um, and look how big the designs are. Like, those are huge for a nail. Like, oh, hi. Um, it might work for toenails better, but really, like, that is my entire thumb. That little sun right there. Um, and I tried to do, I just gave up. That's why there's nail polish still on this one. I tried to do, like, little stars. You can see the little stars. There we go. 
I tried to do those little stars the other day, um, and I ended up just doing like this um, ombre effect, and it would just not go on. Like, I let it dry. I let it dry for 15 minutes without putting a top coat on, and I went to roll it, and it was so, like, just blotchy and bleh. Um, so I was like, all right, let me just take that nail polish off and do it again, and then add my top coat, let that dry, and then put it over it. And it still sucked. I've honestly tried like 10 or 15 times using this, and I'm about to give up. Like, I'm going to try it one more time on my toes. Like, I'm going to put some hearts on my toes and see if that works, and if it doesn't, I'm going to come back and tell you not to get it. This was $10 at Target. Um, it comes with a little scraper, but it comes with a little rolly thing. Oh, he was playing with it in my room. I don't know, it might be in his room. Um, but yeah, it's just, if you're thinking about getting it, I wouldn't. I would I would honestly pass. If you have used it and you know a way that it works, let me know because I try to roll it this way, try to roll it this way, try to just like stamp it on and it's just, no, it's not like the commercials. It's like the mascara commercials of the models and they're like, new mascara that doubles your lashes and they had those like fake lashes on that we all know are fake. Just, it's not the same thing. So, yeah, that's my April favorites. And after this, I am in a really weird mood, I'm sorry. Um, after this is going to be the giveaway winner um, for the 11th Gorgeous Lip Gloss. I still have another giveaway going on um, for like the next few days, maybe like three days when after I put this up. So I'm going to link that below. Go ahead and just spam the crap out of that video. Try to win it. It's an awesome prize to win that Argon Oil and Soaps. Like, it's my holy grail thing. I've love it. So congratulations to the winner and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone!